everybody. Welcome to Monster Prom. That's not as well put together as we would have liked. Once upon a time, <laughs> we had our audio and everything all slowly saving or downloading. And then we unplugged our Elgato and our computer said, there's too much going on, fuck you, and died. And then woke up and was like, what's an audio? I don't know what that is. So we have lost the audio. The, the footage is safe-ish. So what we have decided to do is I have an outline of what we did during this session. And I'm going to do my damnedest to entertain you with this notes version, this cliff notes version of what the hell went down. So first off, it's the summer update. Everything looks amazing. Everyone is adorable. And the backgrounds are really, really pretty. And it's exciting to finally have the gallery. So we look, got to look at all the Polaroids. We, we, we just love seeing all of them all over again, including... <laughs> was totally just looking at Damien and my purple dork. We love all of those Polaroids, so it's exciting. We want to hopefully get them all. Uh, the routes we went for this time was Luke, known as Rage, was going for the bed sheet or ghost ending because before the uh, during the breaking of the points bug, he tried and it said no. And Flays is going for Van Vera's vanilla ending. Me, I am going for Miranda's vanilla ending. And Sunshine was going for the new Damien route, the one that says, fuck you, son, or something like that. I don't really remember. So week one, day one, Rage decided to go, oh, I don't even remember where. Screen, where is he going? There? Perfect. All right, he made it up with Vera and Miranda, and they start talking about an app called Crowdsurfs, where you can crowd your own crowdfunding website surfing. What? It's for everyone who wants to feel rich and get serfs to serve them. That's what it was. I just looked further in my notes. They're having trouble finding new serfs because being a serf sucks. So Rage suggests that everyone has an un unpaid labor competition where the prize is more unpaid labor. And everyone says yes. And thus they begin, who wants to be an unpaid laborer on ABC right after whose boo is it anyway? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so thanks to this awesome new uh, show that now has spin-offs such as Unpaid Labor with the Stars and the Real Serfs of Metropolis, everyone wants to be a surf now, including us, apparently. <laughs> uh, Flays, says scene. She went to where? There. Perfect. She met up with Vera and Liam and they are judging people as usual. Because fuck people. Oh, uh, there's a note here from Flays. Uh, Vera's outfit is hot. This is very important. Zoom in on that. Zoom in on that. Yeah, that's spicy. They think they are the only fashionable monsters there. So Flay strips naked. It is the hottest thing there. <laughs> she is the fire chick, so I mean, yeah. In both senses of the word. It is hot. <laughs> Anyways, so she has proved them wrong because she is now wearing the Emperor's New Clothes gimmick of, you know, you're not cool enough unless you can see it. But she is naked and Vera knows this. And she is okay with that. Let's see. Oh, my scene. Where'd I go again? I think I went to the gym or to the library. Where'd I go, game? There? Okay. So I go and I find Polly and Miranda and they're talking about more apps. Because what else are they going to talk about but apps? And they're like, yo, there's this thing called Tiger App. Oh, just kidding. That's not how it went. I lied. <laughs> I said I have this cool app called Tiger App where I can make tigers appear anywhere anywhere so there are tigers literally everywhere now uh miranda buys the app and gets a lot of raw meat waiting for the new cages for her family zoo so that she can just there's a tiger now it will live for a few seconds underwater and then there's a new tiger another few seconds and she's gonna have a cage full of corpses soon it's gonna be great someone is pushing on my chair sorry <laughs> okay sunshine scene he went in the bathroom, I think, actually. And there's a Damien and a Vera trying to hide their pet in their locker. We've seen this scene tons of times. So he suggests they implant a tracking device on the pet and then set it free to stalk for the rest of their days and get that sweet, sweet moolah. All right, then we hit lunchtime. Yes, foods. So Sunshine goes and sits with Scott and Liam. 
Why did you not sit with Damien? I don't remember why. Screen? Why did he not sit with Damien? They are hiding a monster pet under the table. Table? In, under the table. They can't remember what they were going to do with it, but that's okay. Sunshine suggests they just make the beast into a monster, chef. Now I'm confident that was Damien and Scott. Screen? Was it Damien and Scott? And they're like... We're gonna get all the prize money. And Damien, oh, it is Damien. Yeah, there's my note. Why did Damien become Liam? Someone draw a shitty crayon drawing of Liam over Damien. <laughs> so, Damien loves the idea. It kind of goes awry when the bee starts eating everyone. Cause chefs need to taste test their food. And we are the food. Blaze sits with Polly and Vera. Some guy is watching them eat because he loves that kind of stuff. Cause you know, there's a fetish for everything now. So he asks Blaze who he thinks is the best at eating. And obviously Vera, cause she is hot and we are going for her with Blaze. Oh, and just kidding, cause she has a lot of mouths. That can eat lots of things. A variety of things. So Gar Vera gets paid to freaking eat, which is grand. I wish I got paid to eat. So then I go and sit with uh, Liam and Miranda. I guess I should, I'm gonna change it and put a really crude crayon drawing of Damien over Liam. Uh, Liam is trying to take a picture of his food and Miranda is looking at his silverware. Oh yes, this scene. So I'm like, yo, get this fucking amazing gloating silverware. It's the best Miranda. And she's like, oh yes, gloating spoon or fork. I forget which it is. What is it, screen? That, okay. And then, uh, let's see. Ah, yes. And then our favorite thing. So during the deciding on who should go next, <laughs> during the deciding of who should go next, uh, it was, no, it was Sunshine who said dinosaur. Cause they That's asked us- That's not an animal, that's a dead. <laughs> that's not an animal, that's a dead. <laughs> or they a dead. I forget they. what, it might've been they a dead. So now we're on week night one. And it's messy. So I go somewhere, I go here screen, I go there, okay. And people keep making tigers because of my tiger app. I thought this must have been a secret ending, but it's not. I wish it were. Anyway, so Polly looks amazing, by the way, as everyone does, because summer outfits are awesome. So Polly tries to explain to Liam and Vera why the tiger app is amazing. Uh, Vera and Liam don't necessarily like the app as it interferes with their work. And I'm just like, okay, let me uh, go talk to coach. And Coach is like, cool, I'm going to make them a synchronized skating team. And then the app loses its popularity somehow. Despite being able to spawn a synchronized skating tiger team. Sounds like the best addition to the app on the planet. <laughs> and I want that. I'll just go on the street and go, hey guys, look what I can do. Boop. <laughs> synchronized tigers rolling down the street. <laughs> It'll be grand. Sunshine then uh, goes, I assume the bathroom again. I remember him going to the bathroom a lot in this in this playthrough. You got no bold. <laughs> you got no bold. He had no bold. And he runs into Damien and Vera for the drag race scene. And we make the best car with a total makeover. And we're so proud of the RuPaul's drag race. And ah, it's so cool. And Sunshine got closer to Damien and everything is great. And they're going to make out. It's going to be wonderful. So, and then uh, Rage, uh, he went where? There? Cool. And he met with Miranda and Vera and are quartered by the wolf pack trying to get a date with them. How wooed. Uh, or at least how- what? No, it's not that bad. I mean, they could just say no, and if he was tactful, he could just walk the fuck away, but no. Just wolf packs being dicks. Okay, that works. Anyway, so Rage is like, uh, what do I do? Because these all are like, ah, these choices don't sound- ah. And then we finally pick, and he takes Miranda to Cirque, Cirque de la Mer, which she always wanted to go to. At least it seemed like it. She takes the tickets and takes someone else. I assume it was me because I was going for her at that time. It probably doesn't say that on the screen, but that is my headcanon now because I didn't mess up. No, Miranda's mine. Back off, Rage. All right, during Flaze's scene, she went there and Coach is trying to convince Vera to work out and Vera wants none of that, even though how do you have that perfect bod without working out? Don't lie, bitch, you know you work out. To share your secrets with me. So Flaze suggests burpees because it makes your nails look great. We had to look up what burpees were. They're these. There's some images on the screen. I, I will never do them. And Vera's like, holy shit, my nails are great! Cause it worked somehow and now I wanna do burpees. Maybe. So now they're like flawless sexy daggers and I want them nails. Cause that would be awesome to have flawless sexy daggers for fingernails. And then you can just daintily stab people and no one will question you. Okay, then we get to the weekend and of course, 
something happens to Sunshine. As always. Anyway, so we uh, look at all the new backgrounds, your nice big car full of script, and they're pretty in art. And then Vera invites people to come to a warehouse to kill a dude because he made a controversial rumor about Miranda's father. Cut in front of Vera at the pharmacy, and Damien just, you know, is Damien. He, he, killing sounds like a great time. Great way to spend your Sunday. So they need someone to pay for the execution, and Sunshine doesn't want to spend his money. So he gets me, because I'm going for Miranda, so I have bank in my pocket. I'm a rich son of a bitch. And then, so we go to a website and get the best murder weapon, and it's called the Meat Reaver 20XX. And it's crazy. Just look at this description right there. Fucked up. Yeah, then we get to week two, and Flays goes back to the gym because that is her home. She will never leave the dodgeball battlefield. So Vera's now upset because her snakes are fighting, because they do that. And she asks Flays how to get the snakes to stop fighting. And so Flays is like, you should get them a job. And she's like, you're right. They have jobs. I need to remind them. And then she tells her snakes, yo, snakes. Get your shit in gear! And they're like, what? No. And she's like, okay, Beth. I don't actually remember the name of the snake hair that she was talking to, but I'm gonna make him a Beth. You are going to file my paperwork, and you need to make this meeting go good on the Wednesday. And Beth is like, I saw her. He pulls out phone and gets to guard on calls. And then she turns to her other snake and is like, Robert, you need to be getting the meetings of the luncheon together, and you need to do this thing really badly. <laughs> and, and Robert is like, got it, K, and he pulls out his own phone, and they operate them without hands, and they hold them without hands. So now I go, and I go to the library to get more money, but the shop was there, so I fucked up. So I just stared at the shop cat girl, whispered that we date her eventually, and then just lied on the library floor and did nothing. So then Rage, he goes, where? There, K, he, he bought the, oh yeah, that's right, he bought the sheet last time, I think at the lunch table, I think. I forget where he bought it. He bought it though, I swear. So he got it and he's like, yo, I'm a ghost, boo. And Miranda and uh, Scott are like, shit, a ghost. And Liam's like, what? No, that's a cheat. And they're like, brah, you racist? And he's like, brah, no. And they're like, brah, that's a ghost. And we're like, boo. And they're like, shit, that's a scary ghost. And Liam's like, I hate all of you. <laughs> Is that scene? <laughs> oh yeah, then the coven showed up. And they're like, oh my gosh, guys, we're, gonna, we're the coven and we have Heathers everywhere. Shut up, Heather! And then, and then we decided, fuck the coven. And he went, went up, ran up and just went, boo. And everyone's like, damn, that scary ghost. And the coven were like, retreat, bitches! And they ran. So we then, Sunshine goes, bathroom yes i don't know if it, i don't care if you didn't go anywhere else you went to the bathroom that's where you go all the ways edit it to the bathroom <laughs> always to the bathroom he runs into crazy martin the werebear janitor <laughs> he talks to the third person calling himself man and yet that joke's gonna make no sense to you but it's worth it i swear Matt is, <laughs> is disappointed that he missed the joke. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is the janitor. That's janitor werebear man. <laughs> and I love him. And he's looking for students cutting class like Damien, Miranda, and Sunshine. And it's time to stay hidden. Sunshine makes himself as big as possible by puffing out his cheeks and stuffing toilet paper in his shirt. I'm trying to decide if that was him giving himself boobs. <laughs> So he ran out there with his toilet paper boobs and puffed up his cheeks and went boo. Cause that seemed to work for rage. And <laughs> Werebear Man. <laughs> and the Werebear Man was like having nom flashbacks. And we were like, oh, we're assholes. <laughs> And now it's week two at lunch. Yay! So uh, Flames went to go sit with Vera and Miranda. This is about the taste testing scene about like, you know, like don't drink that or you'll die. And Vera's like, bitch, I just want my booze. And then we go up, we're like, okay, we'll be your taste test. We'll be your taste test. It's fine, Vera. So we take it, we drink, and then we die. And Miranda flips her shit and she runs to high heaven. And Vera's just like, cool. And then takes her booze and leaves. <laughs> okay, Rage just went to the shop because he wanted to he didn't want to talk to anybody. He just wanted to stare at the cat girl and go, someday we'll date you. And the cat girl's like, please just buy my fucking shit. I just want money. Why do you do this to me? And then Sunshine went and got, sat with Polly and Damien who were hiding under the table from the quasi, quasi, 
Quasi from Quasi Martin. No, Quasi Wear Bear Man. And they are looking for a place to hide again. Sunshine chooses Damien's option to hide behind diplomacy. Oh no, diplomatic immunity because you know Prince of Hell and all that. And Polly's like, bitch, I died. <laughs> it's this is like, wait, no, this is how I died. Except when we were talking about the dinosaur earlier, and you know that was a dead. We decided, fuck it, I was a died. <laughs> That's us, aren't we? Great. I went and hanged out and hung out with the coven uh, for month uh, for lunch. Munch, yeah, I like what it's in your notes better, place. I went and hung out with the coven for munch. Anyways, uh, the coven wants to try out new spells, and I'm like, okay, I want to see the future, the past, and the present. And live TV everywhere, and then I saw everything. Everything. I can't unsee what I've seen. By the way, don't watch the next uh, season of Men in Black. That's not a TV show yet. Shit. Also, I have a news perspective on my parents. I have seen some shit that would turn your hair white. Ah! So now it's week two night, and uh, I went somewhere. I went there, and uh, Polly is on Tinder and seems bored, but Miranda seems amazed because it's an app to find true love. Uh, Polly explains, I just, I want dick pics off it. That's all I want. And Miranda's just like, what? A, a dick pic? Like, dick Van Dyke pics? What? What are you talking about? So I just suggest, you should just buy Tinder. And she's like, you're fucking right. So she bought Tinder. I, I quickly uninstalled the app. I don't need that. So then Sunshine went back into the bathroom. I don't care where he went, he went into the bathroom. And Damien is being the crap out of a gerblin. At this point, we realized Sunshine probably wouldn't be getting the new ending. And so everything was sucky. So Damien's upset and he won't be able to rebel once he can rule over hell. And Sunshine's just like, just start a war. And he's like, sweet. And they go and they start a war together and it's cute. And they're holding hands while they do it. So then Flea's going back to the gym, her home, her purgatory, her hell. She uh, runs into Vera and she's upset because she got another dick pic and she hates dick pics because dick pics are gross. And this is not a joke. Dick pics are gross. Stop it. Y'all are disgusted. Send something classy like... <laughs> Send something classy like a nip pic. <laughs> Abby! <laughs> Actually, that'd be even more classy. Just play hard to get. It's fine. Damn it! <laughs> so uh, we accidentally choose. Uh, Place chooses the uh, non-creative creative option, or she's not creative enough to do said option, uh, which was blackmailing him by holding on to his dick pic and putting it on TV. And she's like, "I don't want to see more of it." Thank you very much. And then uh, Rage went and went did more ghosty goo stuff. Except there was the interdimensional prince! Flays, throw your voice in here, go. It is I, the interdimensional space prince! Beautiful. And Luke was just like, boo. And the prince was like, shit, a ghost! And everyone was like, shit, a ghost! Except Liam, who was like, bitches, it's not a ghost! And then, uh, Rage turned to him and went, boo. And Liam's like, take a step back. And he's like, I swear you're not a ghost. I'm not scared. That didn't happen, but I pretended it did. The weekend comes, and something happens to, ah, sunshine. Again. So Miranda comes up and is conflicted on who should be her prom date because it would mean a lifetime of working alongside her. She w can't decide between Rage and Senpai because everyone wants to confess their love to me. Even you, viewers. Please don't, I'm married. We could be good pals, though. You could just be in my little friend square. Why is square? I don't know. Why did I... <laughs> Why is square? So obviously Sunshine is a good, good boy and says I would be the best option because Miranda's mine. Rage back off. I swear. Next uh, is the morning of week three. And uh, Flay's is seen. And Damien and Vera are trying to get into the ultimate cool chair in the classroom. And we dubbed it the protagonist chair. It's obvious because only the coolest person can sit there. It has to be by the window. And it has to be the second chair from the back. It has to be. That's how it works. And she decides, I'm just going to steal it because I'm cool. And then her butt caught fire. Sunshine then went to the bathroom and Damien is trying to hack off his hand to give him some cool body modifications. He did that with his horn already, so why not just chop off his hand? Except Sunshine's like, fuck it, gun hands. And he's like, fuck it, gun hands. And he cuts off his hands. Now he has gun hands. Oh, that's right. He actually didn't replace them. That's true. Fuck it. In my world, he replaced them. And then they just, like, they're attached, and that's what he has. He doesn't have hands. It's just these nubs with the guns on them. And then just one day he woke up, and his hands just, like, extendoed out and just pushed the guns off, and they just clattered to the floor useless. And he's like, why? I just want gun hands. That would have been so metal. 
And he was sad for a while, but he still thought it was pretty cool. And got a t-shirt with sunshine. No, they got matching tats. I, that's my new story. They got matching tats. I think that happened later. Where the Shh, they got matching tats. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> and then Ray, she went to there and he met up with Miranda. Fuck a duck, dude. Get away from my girl. Oh, she's freaking out because her test surf went missing and she's like, how do I take tests without my test surf? Fix it. Rage is all like, okay, I'll go get the wolf pack. And the wolf pack's like, I can find him. Goes off. Miranda shows up like three hours later. Is like, bitch, where's my surf? And he's like, I thought the wolf pack. He goes and the wolf pack's like, yeah, we found them. And then we ate them. Sports! And then on my scene, I went they, oh, the library, and me and Polly were watching porn. And so Miranda is like, what are you guys watching? And in a panic, I just turned to her and said, it's a cooking show. And she's like, that is by far the most disgusting cooking show I have ever seen. And storms off. And Polly, just embarrassed that this would ever be a cooking show, just turns to her and like, no, wait, Miranda, it's porn. It's porn. It's porn. <laughs> it's porn. And then the librarian was like, shh. Oh. Not even worried that they were oh, yeah, that just was... quiet, please. <laughs> That's right, just shh This is a library, please be quiet. Stupid students. As she turns back to her porn. <laughs> So then, oh, it's lunchtime. Flays goes and sits with Vera and Liam, and they're like, it's the cool people table. Only cool people can eat here. And Flays proves she's cool by paying Vera. She pays her way in. Like most cool kids. That's how it works. That's why I wasn't cool. And then <laughs> I went and sat with Damien and Miranda. And the scene was them arguing about silverware. And so I defend Miranda about her silverware, giving her material to blackmail Damien. I did? Sure. I blackmailed him with a silverware that was specifically called a blackmail spoon. <laughs> I just shoved it down his throat <laughs> and defended Miranda's honor. That's the story. I'm sticking to it. So then uh, Sunshine went and sat with Coach. And Coach is like, here, I have some sports drinks. And Sunshine's like, cool. And then he downs them both. Because he's hardcore. And he gets bold as fuck. Because he's got to have that bold to bone that Damien. <laughs> and then when Luke just visited the shop to waste more time, he will date her eventually. And she's just like, pitches, just buy my shit. You bought like a sheet. I need money to live! Uh, the night of week three. Flays goes to there. Avera's all upset that they have to take monster history and doesn't see the point of using that knowledge in real life. I guess this is the classroom. Uh, she demands Flays to give her a pep talk. And so Flays is like, uh, you can make money by supporting businesses that could make life even worse for poor people. And Vera loves the idea. So then Rage goes here and the final ghost scene. Yes, we did it. So he's like, I, I'm a ghost. And Polly's like, I'm a ghost. And they're like, yeah, we're ghosts. And, this, and so he says, I died by being offered to the god of party. And Liam's like, fuck it, you're not dead. You're not a ghost. And Polly's like, bitch, we'll sacrifice you to the god of party. Ah! So Liam's just like, but it's just a blanket. And Polly's just like, I died that way. I am so offended. And then they go off and boo together somewhere. I don't know. Oh, and then Sunshine went to the bathroom and he uh, runs into Damien and he's like, we should get really rad matching tattoos. Another set. Because I made up that they got a set earlier. So I'm going to keep with my narrative. Sunshine suggests they get a tattoo of, quote, an on fire pentagram made out of pentagrams of those pentagrams are made out of guns that shoot pentagrams and the pentagrams are on fire and the fire is on fire. I would never get a tattoo, but I might consider that one. And Damien's like, that is fucking rad. And they go and they got matching tats. This one was a chess tattoo. So they had to be shirtless together, holding hands to endure the pain as they got these sweet matching tats. Best couple. <laughs> and now they are married. I mean, they have matching tattoos. The wedding's on Thursday. And then I went somewhere. I went there and uh, Miranda had asked me out to dinner to a place she can't even pronounce. So I want to order everything to impress Miranda. So I buy everything on the menu. And she's like, no, no, I'm richest. I'll order two of everything. You can take care of the tip. So I got to live a night of luxury and only had to pay like 20 bucks. And now it is time. We go to prom. So let us see how we did. Flays, she chose the Vera. And Vera's like, 
yeah, that's cool. We could go to prom. And then they had the vanilla night, and it was really great. And they uh, got to have a lot of adventures together, and they'll get married someday. Rage. He goes alone, because he wants to be a ghost. There's a part of me that wonders, why didn't we do this with Polly? But oh well. It is fate, and he is now a ghost. And he is rocketed up the dance floor in his blanket. Sunshine. He picks Damien. And they go with their matching tattoos. And they, uh, they took care of each other's rears. They took care of each other's rears with their matching tats. They're married Thursday. Then I chose Miranda, and she said, okay, cool. And we went, and it was the best night ever. And she took all the fun from everyone else, including my other prom friends, and she gave it to me. So I don't know how they actually had fun. So we unlocked a bunch of stuff. Everything's great. So we got the greeting cards so we can actually get Blob. We got the blood of, an, the, t the it's either the blood of the angels or tears of an angel or tears of a bloody angel. I don't remember. Angel something. And we get some a floppy disk and a cult ring. And for some reason, it didn't say if we can actually date shopkeep now. So we're gonna try, maybe. Or maybe we'll just taunt her and not buy any of her shit just to piss her off. Is that why we didn't get it? Is did we piss her off? Oh, <gasps> it's cuz we didn't buy shit every time we went. We only bought the w Guys, we fucked up. Oh guys, Shopkeep will never date us now. Oh, oh, David. oh no, David. The Shopkeep won't date us. Guys, we fucked up. Guys! Good luck, Flays. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, Flays. Bless us. Bless you. Good luck. Holy hell.